So hey there, let me share with you what I'm doing today. I'm flying to Bangkok. I'm gonna spend the night in Bangkok and then I am traveling all the way to Arizona. So be sure to stick with me on my journey. Hopefully it goes uneventful as most of them have. And look who I have with me right now. I have Kim who is Hello. taking pictures. And what we did is we just stopped for something to eat. We'll share that with you. I've got to be to the airport in about an hour and 30 minutes. No, maybe an hour and 40 minutes. So we've got a little bit of time to eat. Um, I'm having Penang chicken, papaya salad. Kim's having cashew chicken, a coconut shake. So we'll see you in a bit, won't we? Yep. So I'll share the first part of our meal, my last meal in Thailand for over two months. That right there is papaya salad. We each got some rice. That is Penang chicken. If you've never had Penang chicken, you should get it. And Kim's cashew chicken will be here in a minute, but so far, what does it look like? Looks great. Check out the scenery too. So I do want to share that I ordered the papaya salad and I ordered the Penang chicken and I ordered the rice and that's exactly what we got. Kim ordered a coconut smoothie or a coconut shake and she got a banana shake. Kim ordered cashew chicken and we don't know what that is but I'm sure it's going to be good but there's definitely no cashews in it. We'll let you know. So let's give you a little update. That right there is the cashew chicken that we thought was the Penang chicken. And that right there is the Penang chicken that we thought was something other than cashew chicken. So we've got it. The only thing we didn't get right was the coconut shake. But how is it, Kim? It's great. It's, it's good? good? All right. Looking, can't wait to start eating now. Now that we figured it all out. So... The last bill I got to pay in Thailand for two months was 512 baht, which actually comes out to about $16. Not a bad deal considering we were sitting at a place with a view like that. What do you think, Kim? Oh, it's beautiful here. And the food was really, great, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was very good. All righty, so that's it. We'll see you at the airport. ticket but you remember you can get out with it because you'll be going right out yeah remember? yeah this airport is one of the nicest little airports I've ever been to when you get off the plane it almost feels like you're on a safari at the zoo so hopefully I'm doing this right <laughs> feels like it right I think so okay mm-hmm Let's go. Thanks, Kim. Well, that was interesting. A little different this time. Usually, I get dropped off over there and you check in right when you get out of the car. But this time, he sent me this way. So I'm not quite sure what's going on. Except, I'm thinking this might be COVID related. Meaning, they don't want incoming passengers walking past outgoing passengers that'd be my guess so we'll see so i figured it out 
Kim dropped me off at the arrivals gate and this is the departures area so I just had to walk probably about five to ten minutes from the arrivals area to the departures area now I can go check in this is exactly what I was expecting to see when I got out of the car but didn't Lots of last minute little eating and shopping and relaxing things on the way out. Then the gates are pretty cool. just got off that plane behind me it was a 90 minute flight when I got off the plane they gave me a snack bag uh, never got food after a flight before so I'm gonna check this out see what they gave me a water a napkin a chocolate thing and Chicken ham roll. Very interesting. So it was only about a one minute walk to the baggage claim. So I booked my hotel at the Golden Foyer Hotel, which is about a 10 or 15 minute drive from the airport. I actually stayed there last time I flew out of Bangkok. Uh, stayed there for two nights. There's a nice market outside and includes breakfast, uh, airport transfers, and all that for about $32 a night. So I'll be sure to share my hotel with you, I would highly recommend uh, the Golden Foyer Hotel if you have to lay over in Bangkok for a night. See you guys soon. So I'm outside waiting for the hotel driver to pick me up. Uh, they communicate through WhatsApp. So they're about 15 minutes away from here. So I messaged them as soon as I got my bags. They're on their way. So I'll show you what the pickup area looks like.
So let me show you the room real quick. Um, everything seems super new. So everything's in excellent shape. You have a wardrobe barrier, you have a safe there. A desk. I've got a king size bed and a twin or a single. And then also have balcony patio. And if I recall, there's gonna be a pool right down there and a canal behind us, which makes for really nice views. And then on the other side of the building is the market. And right there, you can see a plane. So you can see how close we are to the airport. So check it out. There's the hotel. And there's a great market over there. And I'm gonna go walk through the whole thing. Well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna walk through some of it so you can get an idea. I wanna buy some food and probably call it a night. So I bought myself uh, eight chicken wings for seven baht each. I got myself a really nice salad, fruits and vegetables for 40 baht, which is $1.33. I'll take a picture of that in a little bit. I did stop into 7-Eleven and I got a couple of drinks there. Uh, just some little vitamin waters. They were 17 baht each. Now I'm gonna go into this big sea and there's a 7-Eleven right down the street. I wanna see if I can get my hands on some COVID tests here in Thailand. I have one. I should have bought more when I saw them, but I didn't. So now we're gonna see if I can find it. So I did find COVID tests in Big C. They actually had about 30 or 40 of them. But they wanted 150 baht each, which was closing in on $5 each. I don't have a need for them. I know there's a few people in the States that do. So I am gonna pick one up and I've got another one of the other brands that I found for 50 baht. But when we were in Hua Han, I saw them for 25 baht each. So I'm just gonna go down the street, one more store, see if they have any in there, and then uh, call it a night. So it's amazing how much unpacking somebody can do for just a one night hotel stay. And I didn't even go out, I didn't even do anything except go to the market. But I set my alarm for 4.30, the shuttle's at 5.30. They told me to be downstairs 10 minutes early. I think they actually sent somebody up to check out the room. But, uh, boy, I kind of close. I mean, it's already 5.20, and I hustled the whole time, so. Word of advice, maybe don't unpack so much when you uh, just stay for one night. I'll see you guys at the airport.
So there are so many more people here than any time I've been here in the last year. I'm at Bangkok, Servia Palm Airport. through security, made it through immigration, headed to the gate. I want to show you this right here. It's a pretty nice statue. So So, safely in Japan after a five hour flight from Bangkok. And interesting, they let the final destination Japanese, Japan final destination people off. Then they hold the connecting flights. So you know they do that because they have people go one way and the other. It just seems backwards. It seems like the connecting flight should get off first, especially when we only have like an hour layover. But they know what they're doing. First thing I noticed getting off the plane in Tokyo, it's cold out. And I'm wearing shorts and flip-flops. It's not freezing, it's just cold. Got about an hour for our next flight. So when you fly international, even if you have a, um, a layover and a connecting flight, you still have to go through security. And I just got hung up at security there because of the drone. It um, didn't go through their x-ray good, so I had to unbag it all. Then they had to do it all manually. So that slowed me down five or 10 minutes. Uh, flight's still on time. I think they're boarding right about now. So now I just gotta get to gate 63 and be on my way. So when we got on the plane in Bangkok, they gave us this big questionnaire. Uh, fact is, you only had to do two check marks and sign the back of it. I was wondering, we got off the plane, they didn't ask for it, but it does look like they're asking for it before we get on the next flight. So I was thinking it was another wasted piece of paperwork done for nothing, but they are going to take it. So. So that section has four in the middle, two on the sides. And these have three in the middle and three on the sides. And oh, wow, still a lot of space. So I'm in Los Angeles. Once again, an uneventful trip, and I'm gonna tell you, that leg was awesome. I would recommend that to anybody. So I flew Bangkok to Narita, 
Japan, Tokyo, Japan, uh, Tokyo to LA. The plane was a 777. And even the economy seats felt like an upgrade. So that was great. The flight, one of the shortest legs I've done over the ocean. Tokyo to LA was just nine hours. Contrast that to like Seattle to, or LA to Singapore at like 16 hours. I loved it. So I just have to get through immigration. Then the last leg from LA to Phoenix and then I'm home. So I'll check in as things happen. So I had my first little, not mishap, but when I checked in in Bangkok, they said my bag was checked all the way to Phoenix, which was cool. Well, then when I was walking out, I had to go through the baggage claim area, which is typical, but then there was a place towards the end that said baggage recheck. So I went and asked, and she told me I should have grabbed my bag from the baggage claim and then just dropped it off there. But she says they will collect the bags at the end and forward them automatically. So we'll see how that works. She said I don't have to do anything, but she said the right thing would have been to collect my bags at baggage and then recheck it on the way out following the connecting flight sign. So lesson learned and uh, gonna go towards the terminal now and see everything rest of the trip goes good so let's see I've arrived in Phoenix now my fingers are crossed that my bags are gonna be here uh, I remember one other time same route maybe different airline my bags were not here so they actually had to deliver them to my house at like one or two in the morning so fingers crossed I'll keep you posted Hopefully they're there. So it looks like the bags have stopped coming out. Mine is not there. So, my bag did not arrive. They have it tracked to Tokyo, Japan, and then no further. So, for some reason, it did not get on the plane with me. They said I should have it within th three days. And they gave me a phone number to call if I don't get it within five days. So, uh... Fingers crossed that I get my bag. Um, this is actually the second time I made this trip and my bag wasn't here. So I'm 0 for 2 because the other time I didn't bring a, 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 a check-in bag. I just had carry-on. So I'm 0 for 2. Hopefully start getting a little better on that and hopefully I get my suitcase soon. So I'll update you guys. And... Uh, Thanks for watching. So, I'll just finish my <clears throat> traveling to the USA video from Thailand. I got my suitcase and I actually learned something this time and made a mistake. I actually, um, as soon as you arrive in the United States, you're supposed to gather your bags at ticket at the baggage claim and then recheck them. There's a rechecking place and I failed to do that. Um, in Bangkok, they told me it was checked all the way to the United States, so lesson learned, but great. I've got my suitcase, and now I can start using all the things that I brought with me. So, take care, and see you in the next video.